Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're going to take a look at a sick custom case for your iPhone 5S and your iPhone 5. Now, this is from a company called ExoVault. Shout out to everybody who's seen the last case I did from ExoVault. You already know that this company is the truth, straight quality. But if you didn't see that, let me pull up the website real quick so you can see what I'm talking about. And on a quick side note, this case is not for everybody. All right. At the end of the video, we'll get into some real talk and I'll go into that a little bit deeper. But just remember, this case is not for everybody because the price is a little bit high. But we'll talk about that later. Let me show you the website. All right, you hit up exovault.com. Now, as you can see, go to the website for yourself. I'm not going to read it all for you, but they got a whole bunch of different cases made out of a whole bunch of sick composite materials. Now, if y'all remember the last video, I went with the black aluminum composite. This time, we're going with the brass zycro composite. So let me pull that up so you can read a little bit for yourself. Now, the price from this one is going to run you 260 now you can pause this and read it for yourself, but I'll read a little bit for you. Let's blow it up. Try to get into focus on that. Alright, thanks so much for choosing ExoVault, which is and always which is and has always been handcrafted by artists in Brooklyn, New York. So that's one thing I gotta say, even before we get into the case, this company is based out of my hometown, Brooklyn, New York. That's where I was born and that's where I was raised and grew up at. So shout out to ExoVault. Y'all already know I like to represent for the small companies. And ExoVault is right here doing it big in Brooklyn. Alright, the Exo 18 is a handsome, robust protection for your iPhone 5S with no reception issues. Alright, so like with other aluminum cases, sometimes you have problems, you ain't gonna have no problems with the reception on this one. The case covers your iPhone 5S in an elegant, strong, phenoloic resin composite core and zycro veneer, which is capped on the ends with impact resistant brass. Trust me, ladies, fellas, this is a go, all right? Let's keep going. <laughs> the phenoloic resin composite core and the veneer allows us to use amazing woods that would not be possible without this structural combination. All right? Look, go to the website and read all that for yourself. Like I said, the website is nice and clean, nice and neat. All right, so that's the one we went with right here. So let's pop it open and see what it looks like. Now, if you didn't see the last video, the one we went with last time, the black aluminum, y'all already know that this one was sick, and for an extra $40, you could get it engraved, do it whatever you want, so that makes this perfect for the holidays, for gifts and all of that. Shout out to everybody that hit me up on the last video, my man from the uh, military whose father passed away, he bought his mom's a nice one, had his father's regiment and everything engraved on the back of it, real nice. Alright, so that's the last one, just in case y'all wanted to see, now let's take a look at the new one. Now, y'all know I got the gold iPhone 5. That's why I went with the brass look today. This is the box. Nice, simple, elegant box. Just a little company branding on the front. Let's pop it open. And you got the case right here. Now, fellas, ladies, like I said in the last video, it's hard to tell through a video if something is quality or not. But y'all gotta trust me on this, all right? The quality on this is just mind blowing. It's sick. All right, you gotta touch it and feel it and smell it for yourself. This case is a win. So inside, you have two extra screws and you have your screwdriver. Nice, nice <laughs> velvet layer inside the box, which makes it good for storage. Because if you see my last one, I used the box for storage. And when, you, you know, when you're presenting somebody a nice gift, that's a nice way to present it to them. Let's take a look at the actual case. Now, I got this one engraved also. Everybody that rock with my channel, y'all know this logo already. This is the floor seal of approval. Look at the quality on that, though. This is all brass. Inside, get a little company information. This is sick. All right, now I'm gonna pause the video real quick because I gotta take the screws out. We're gonna drop it on our iPhone and see what it looks like. But just look around the case first though. Now, I'll show y'all some other stuff in a minute, but keep in mind, this, these are not made in China and all that. I already told y'all, these are made in Brooklyn, hand, handmade, 
Not handmade 100%, but you know, machine made and hand assembled. And I'll show y'all some pictures in a minute. But this is a go right here, all right? This is a nice, classy looking case. So I'm gonna pause it and drop my phone on it real quick so y'all can see what it looks like. All right, so this is what it's gonna look like once it's installed in your phone. Fellas, ladies, this is a go. All right, this is definitely sick. Now, one thing I will point out is, if you look at the bottom, it's a little bit different. You see this one has the cutout? No cutout right here? Well, the cutout is because now with iOS 7, you got your swipe gesture. So you gotta remember, when this one came out, there was no iPhone 5S yet, and there was no iOS 7, so you didn't need that. But they took that into consideration, now you have access for your swipe gestures. If you look around, on the side, you still got access to your volume button, your vibrate on and off switch. The bottom is wide open, so you got your speakers, your lightning adapter, your headphone jack. Still got your SIM right there. Cut out for your, ca your uh, camera and your flash. On the top, you got the power button. That works. No problem. And you got your home button. Now, a lot of people are going to ask, does the fingerprint scanner still work? And yes, it does. Even though it's recessed a little bit, you still got access to your home button with no problem. So the fingerprint scanner works fine. But this case is just a serious go right here. Now, like I said, the case is not for everybody. The price, $260, plus if you want to do it big and get the engraving, it's going to be another $40. So you're looking at $300. So if you're one of those people that think spending a couple hundred dollars is way too much for a phone case, you could just go out and get an out of box or go out and get a life proof case or whatever. Hey, do you. But this right here, this is for people who like exclusive stuff. People who like to be different and unique and like custom-made items, like me. This case is a definite win. All right? Little company branding on the bottom. This is the brass Zycro composite material. And like I said, you you know, in the video, you can't really see it. You can't really see 100% the quality. But, fellas, and y'all fellas that rock with me, ladies that rock with me, y'all already know that. I don't play around. When it comes to quality, if it's a go, I'm going to tell y'all that it's a go. And this is a definite go. The brass, everything is just fitted perfectly. And when you hold it in your hand, you're going to get that feeling. You can't get that feeling from watching the video. But when you hold it in your hand, you're going to get that feeling. You're going to know you're getting your money's worth. All right? Now, let's get into a little real talk. That's the end of the case. Like I said, I'll throw the link up in the description. Exovault.com. This is a win. Now, let's get into some real talk real quick. The last video I did for this case... You know, got met with mixed reviews. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people liked it. A lot of people didn't like it. It is what it is. But right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to answer the, the, the main questions that I got when I did this video. I'm going to answer them right now so I don't got to go through this shit over and over in the comments. All right, so let's get right into it. First off, a lot of people were saying, oh, the case looks cheap. You know, they see the case. Oh, it looks cheap. It looks like plastic. It looks like something you could get off Amazon. Well, Go on Amazon. This is how you know that this case is exclusive because when you go on Amazon, you don't even see bootleg ones like this. You can't find a bootleg one that looks just like this. All right, now, I like I said, I can't show you through the video, but the case is not plastic and it definitely is not cheap. So regardless if it looks cheap or not, it's not because the same way I can show you a pair of sunglasses, I can show you these sunglasses right here and you might be like, oh, those look like some cheap plastic sunglasses, but cats who know what style is, you know what I'm saying, and cast that's in the game, you already know about these looks right here. These joints will run you $400. Now, they might just look like some cheap plastic sunglasses in the video, but in real life, once you touch them and once you wear them, you're going to know that it is what it is. So just because it might look cheap in the video, it's not cheap. Trust me. Y'all know that I deal with a whole bunch of cheap stuff all the time. Like, look, I make videos basically on four kind of phone cases. All right, let's push these out the way. I make videos on four kind of phone cases. I got low-end cases. Y'all see me do a whole bunch of low-end cases. You seen all these Game Boy cases, $5, $3, no big deal. I do these all day. These are the low-end cases. You see me do a whole bunch of mid-range cases. You see the speed and joints. You see all of the speed and joints. You see the, um, the Zenith ones. You seen the iLoom cases. You seen these, uh, these little, you know, cheap Amazon custom cases. Shout out to my man Rax. He made this one for me. This one will go for like $40. You've seen these $30, $40 cases all day. All day. 
You know, I could get into cases all day. You know, mid-range cases. It is what it is. Let's get these out the way. So you got low-end cases. You got mid-range cases. Then you got high-end cases. I do high-end case videos. Like if you've seen the knuckle case. This case will run you about 120. A lot of cats was like, oh, that looks like plastic. Does that sound like plastic to you? Take, take some aluminum and hit it. Does that sound like plastic? This is aluminum. So this is a high-end case, about $100 and some change. You've seen the Draco, the bumper cases. These is 100 Got another one for the iPhone. These are running about 100 These is high-end cases, just like the Lunatic cases. You've seen like the Tactic, the Tactic Extreme and the Tactic Strike. These are what you call high-end cases because they run you about $100. All right, so you got low-end cases, mid-range cases, and then you got high-end cases, and then you got these. All right, these are what you call exclusive cases. All right, so these are four kind of cases I deal with, low, mid, high, and exclusive. So it all depends on what you like. You know, I like to show a whole variety of cases. You know, not everybody like to buy $5 cases. Not everybody like to buy $300 cases. You might be on one end or you might be on the other end. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I don't judge you. Don't judge me. I like to have quality stuff. I like to have custom stuff. And like I said, if you're one of those tight pants wearing cats, you know, with your pants hanging off your ass, then you might not be feeling this case. This ain't the case for you. You know, you get one of these and you rock out. But to all my ladies, all my dudes who be rocking three-piece suits and, you know, you be at work in, in a business environment or you're going out to dinner, you know what I'm saying? You got to go to a nice meeting at work. This is the kind of case that you want to have on your phone. You know, all my ladies who be rocking the, you know, the Gucci bags and the Manola Blonic shoes and all that. Yo, it's no problem. Like, y'all y'all know, spend three, four hundred dollars on a pair of shoes. That's nothing. All my dudes who be rocking Jordans. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Like, it depends on how you present yourself. Some people don't care. Some people say, look, I don't care. I just get an out of box case. I just go out and get something like this that'll just, you know, maximum protection. And that's it. And that's fine. Like I said, I don't wear these cases right here to the gym. These ain't the cases that you're going to wear when you're going to bike ride in and, you know what I'm saying, you're going to play basketball. These are when you're going to, when you're getting, you know, fresh. These are cases when you like to get right and get your shit together and go out on the streets looking like a boss. You know what I'm saying? This is the ones that you want to get. Now, a lot of people are going to say, oh, you know, $300, that's a waste of money. Well, let me answer this. It's only a waste of money if you bought it. All right? How are you going to tell me it's a waste of money and, and you didn't spend any money on it? You know what I'm saying? I, I, I get that all the time. A lot of cats be like, oh, you wasted money on this. You wasted money on that. You can't tell me it's a waste of money because it's my money. I do whatever I want with my money just like you do with your money. Let me tell you all a quick story. The other night when the Xbox One came out, I went to Best Buy to wait online. Me and my shorty, we out online 9 o'clock at night. 2 o'clock in the morning, we still online. Now, it's a whole long line. It's about 100 people. And you know when you're online, you start making friends with people. So we start talking and all that. Dudes was walking by the line. They didn't know what's going on. Dudes walking by like, oh, what's going on at Best Buy tonight? They're giving away free TVs or something? What's going on? So we like, nah, it's, you know, tonight's the release of the Xbox One. Dudes like, oh, how much is that? Well, I never even heard of that. What's that? You know, older cats. What's that? I never heard of that. It's $500. This dude was like, yo, oh, all y'all people out here wasting your money and wasting your time for, for video games. You're going to spend $500 for some video games? Look, it might be a waste of money to you if you're not into that kind of stuff. But for me and everybody else that was out there online, that's not a waste of money. In fact, when I got home, you know, I plugged it in and I jumped on that killer instinct. It was worth every penny. You know what I'm saying? And everybody that's out there that was, you know, online for the Xbox and PS4 and all that, y'all already know that you can't just buy an Xbox and go home. You know what I'm saying? When I bought the Xbox, you got to buy the two-year warranty and all that because it's a new system. You don't know what bugs they got yet. You got to buy another controller. You got to buy some video games and all that. Before you know it, you in a $1,000. So now, if you know, if I like video games, you like video games, whoever, you can't tell somebody, oh, that's a waste of money. You wasted $1,000 on video games just because you're not into it. If you're not into it, then do whatever you into and don't judge the next person for whatever they into. So it's not a waste of money because it's worth it for me. When I wear this case and I hit the streets, look, people will say, oh, you know, you pull it out. Nobody ain't going to know that that's an Exo Vault case. Nobody ain't going to know that that case costs $300. Who cares? You know what I'm saying? Who cares what other people know? I know what it costs. I know what it's worth. And I know what kind of quality it is. And I know when we go out to dinner and we sit down at the table... Whoever's sitting next to me and they got these, you know, little kids, you know, 
kids running around, my daughter sitting at the table with us, she got a case like this and all that, or, you know, all the people running up in there with these big giant out of box cases, hey, you know, that's fine. But I know when I put my case down, nobody else got that in the spot. All right? And like I said before, I like being different. I like being custom and unique. That's why I don't drive the same kind of car as everybody. I don't wear the same kind of clothes as everybody. You know what I'm saying? I like to be different. And there's a lot of people, shout out to all y'all cats I follow on Instagram, a lot of people that feel the same way. I, you know, I follow 7,500 people on Instagram, the maximum. I watch the posts that y'all put up. Dudes be posting pictures of mad money all the time. Dudes posting pictures of the Jordans, the LeBrons, mad video games, mad computers, all the shit that people into. It is what it is, man. Don't judge nobody, all right? You spend your money on whatever you want, I spend my money on whatever I want, and we leave it like that. Now, a lot of people are going to say, oh, it doesn't protect your phone, you know, like an out-of-box case. Well, my answer to that is this ain't an out-of-box case. It's a big difference when somebody roll up and you got a case like this. You know, this is not an out-of-box, but this is kind of what out-of-box looks like. Big, giant case like this. You know, that, and this is cool. Like I said, when you're going to the gym, this is what you want. When you're at work doing construction, this is what you want. But when you're sitting down at that fancy meeting at work and you're discussing, you know, your future of the job, you might get a raise, you might get a bonus and all that, and all the big wigs is at the table. You know what I'm saying? You're out at a fancy restaurant and you're all dressed up. This is not what you want to be having down on the table, you know what I'm saying, in front of you. Now, that's just my personal opinion. Like I said, if you like this kind of stuff, do you. But me, I don't like this. This is when I go out and I'm getting fresh and I got on my Gucci shoes and I got on my nice belt and I got on, you know, the suede jacket and all that. I like to come out looking like a boss. All right. Next, a lot of people was hitting me up talking about, oh, you think you're better than me. You think you're better than us because you got a $300 case and all that. I'm not even going to dignify that with a big, long response because anybody who thinks like that, that's just pure, like, ignorance and jealousy and just, you know, bitch assness. You know what I'm saying? What? Why would somebody think they're better than you because they got an expensive phone case? You know what I'm saying? What does my phone case have to do with you? You know what I'm saying? Like, me personally, I'm, I'm all about living life and having fun, and, you know what I'm saying, and doing things that's different and, you know, and getting the most out of my time on this earth. Now, y'all cats, y'all want to be scrimping and saving and all that? Hey, that's you. You know what I'm saying? Do you. Me, if I want something and I can afford it, I'm getting it now. So that if you if you think that makes me better than you and all that, then you just some kind of lame and you need to you need to deal with that situation on your own. I ain't gonna really even talk about that too much longer. Next and last but not least, a lot of cats was asking me, oh, you know, who would buy that? Who would buy this case for three hundred dollars? Who gonna buy that? Well, let me show you who would buy that. Let's take a look at Instagram real quick. First of all, now I posted this one. Four months ago, after I did my video for the first one, a lot of cats was like, oh, nobody ain't gonna buy that. You stupid, nobody ain't gonna buy that. Now you see your boy Jimmy Kimmel. Now, if you don't know who Jimmy Kimmel is, then Google him, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what planet you're from, but you see Jimmy Kimmel rocking the brass joint up in the nail salon, getting the pedicure. You know what I'm saying? I don't be doing all that, all that, but I'm saying it is what it is. But the man's obviously a boss, and this is how bosses move you. You know what I'm saying? This is the boss type of case right here. Yeah? Jimmy Kimmel rocking it up in the spot, Looking like a boss. Now, let me show you ExoVault. Let me show you something about their page, okay? Look at the Instagram page. This is how the cases are made. Remember I was telling you about quality? This is not made in China, you know, on an assembly line and just thrown in a basket. This is how they make custom wheels for your car. You know what I'm saying? Machine like this, yo. This is how they make motorcycles, yo. You know, shit like this. This is not just some cheap assembly line, you know, garbage, yo. Let me show you something else. This is how they, when I said handcrafted and hand, hand assembled, this is them putting your case together. So when you buy your case, you can know that not only that it's made in Brooklyn, New York, shout out to Brooklyn, but you can know that it's a dude that's taking his time, making your case, making your case, your case is individually made. All right, each one is hand assembled. Now that might not mean nothing to y'all, you know what I'm saying? It might not mean nothing to a lot of people, but to me, it means something. You know what I'm saying? Dudes who buy Ferraris and all that, Lamborghinis, when you open that engine, you want to see that plate on it with the person's name on it who who, who put that in there. You know what I'm saying? Like, like Now look, that like I said, that ain't for everybody. Every, some people don't get that kind of shit. Some people do. It is what it is. Now, an another thing real quick, a lot of cats was like, okay, well, you know, who else would buy that besides Jimmy Kimmel? Well, let's look at the Instagram. All right? I ain't the only one who appreciate quality and appreciate a banging ass case. Mad people all over the set. Keep in mind, they got glasses coming out. You know I'm definitely getting those. They got the aluminum and all these composite material glasses. <sighs> we'll talk about that later. We see plenty of people got this case. 
Okay, now you want to make it even more unique, get it custom engraved, whatever you want on the back, make it yours. But people rock in this case hard, yo. Trust me, check them on Instagram yourself. This case is a definite win, all right? That's what I'm saying. This, I hope that answers all of the bullshit that's going to have to go down in the comments because like, unlike the last video, I'm not going to be responding to a whole bunch of people, a whole bunch of haters calling me stupid and all that because, you know, oh, you spent too much money on the case. Like I said, and I'm only going to say it again, don't worry about what I spend my money on, all right? Because when it's time to pay my bills, I don't see nobody running up on me talking about, oh, here, let me help you do that. You know what I'm saying? So when I go to work, I work hard and I play hard. Shout out to all my dudes who do the same. You know what I'm saying? You got to know how to live that life. Yo, stop worrying about, oh, you know, this is that. You know, I was talking to my man the other day that I'm about to end this video. But like I said, I turned this into a, a, a review slash vlog. I was talking to my man and he was like, oh, he went to the mall to cop the Timberlands, the new ones. You know what I'm saying? The, the 40 belows. So he seen them in there. They was 350. He was like, oh, man, they probably got them on the app for 300. So he went on the app. They didn't have them. He went back to the mall. They were sold out. What's the moral of that? Look, when you see something that you want, you get it, especially if you can afford it. Everything ain't always about saving a dollar because a lot of people going to hit me up in the comments like, oh, I could get it for cheaper here. You could, you know, you could get this for cheaper. You could get that. Everything ain't a, ain't a bargain contest for me. You know what I'm saying? When I see something that's hot, I go out and get it immediately. And all you cats that's looking for a nice gift, your, your wife just got a new job and, you know, she got a new title. This is something that you want to get. You get her a nice custom case with her new job title on it, maybe an anniversary date, maybe a little engraving of your kid's face, you just had a baby. You know, like, don't only think about for yourself, this is something that makes a nice gift. You know what I'm saying? I got one on order for somebody right now for my shorty. I ain't gonna blow it up because I know she's gonna see the video, but I got something coming special for her too, and that's how I move out. This shit is a go right here, all right? Look, now, I'm gonna get out of here. I've been talking for a minute, so, um... I'm going to just end this video real quick. But since, like I said, since I've been talking so long, I'm going to let Google end the video for me. All right? Shout out to everybody that rocks with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+, all the Google gangsters I see you holding down that Facebook page, everybody that's hitting me up on Voxer, and a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. You know that's where I'm at full time. 100% full throttle. Oh wait a minute. I almost forgot. All my dudes, all my ladies, take a breath and say it with me. All you haters, all you trolls, go eat a fucking dick. It's your boy Floss. I'm out. Deuces.